Hello, hello, hello. Just gonna type in some things. And then get up started in a few minutes. Hello, I'll be starting in just a few minutes. <clears throat> One more thing and then I'm done. Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> okay. Actually, I'll do it like this. Yes. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Soul. I'm one of the social media influencers for the community health team, as well as one of the art educators for The Corner, which is the Whitman Walker New uh, Cultural Center. And um, I'm just here to talk to you guys a little bit about our topic for our bag series that is tonight at 8.30. Um, if you look at the pinned comment, you can find the um, website where you can um, sign up and register to be included. This um, Badass Girl Group series is going to be a fun um, time to like listen to music for a little while and be in space with each other um, and share good energy. And then we'll also be talking about masturbation and self-exploration um, during our discussion times. And it's just a space for women to come together um, and have space to talk about what we need to. Um, so I'm going to get started on talking to you guys a little bit about what we're doing tonight. Um, tonight's DJ is DJ Sean, jo Sean Don. And we'll talk through sexual health catered to women. We'll cover everything from clitoracy and strapping up to floor to foreplay, lube options, and HIV preventions. Um, so just so you know what you're in for, we have two rounds um, of featured 30 minute music, 30 minutes of music, and then 15 minutes of sexual health talk. Um, Tonight, we're going to be talking about the act of self-exploration and masturbation, the act that most people don't talk about, but almost everybody does it. And I think it's so important to prioritize our pleasure, um, especially during these times when it's sometimes hard to find joy and to um, find pleasure in things. I think it's really important for us to be talking about this and to just 
using it as a form of self-care. Um, so I will, I'll ask people in the comments um, tonight to answer some questions, to talk through some quick language, um, and some of the topics that we'll be talking about. Um, for the language that we're going to use today, we're going to use the term front hole to reference the parts of someone um, who may identify as a trans man or queer or genderqueer or a non-binary and may be uncomfortable with using the term vagina. But we will also use the term vagina for folks who are comfortable with that. Um, so let's just get started and talk about what masturbation actually is. Um, it's the act of self-stimulation of the genitals to achieve sexual arousal and pleasure and to release built-up sexual tension that sometimes leads to an orgasm. It can be done with touching yourself, stroking yourself, massaging yourself, fingering, um, using sex toys like dildos or vibrators and all types of other things. Um, about 80% of people... Well, sorry, let me retract. Planned Parenthood shares these jokes that says um, 80% of people masturbate and the other 20% are lying about it. And although those numbers may be exaggerated um, whilst, because some people don't masturbate at all, the point is that most people are aware of masturbation and that it's com common and normal. Women masturbate, men masturbate, trans and genderqueer people masturbate, straight people masturbate um and people of all ages masturbate so we just want to make sure that we talk about that um some people masturbate a couple times a day once in a while or never at all it's your choice um and your body so do what works for you <clears throat> and there are people who are embarrassed about masturbating due to myths that masturbating um is dirty or shameful and um I know a few people who have, like, felt that. So that's also a normal thing to go through. Um, some myths that are shared by Planned Parenthood include that masturbation is only for single people, which is not true because, you know, sometimes you're not able to see your partner and you still want to um, pleasure yourself. And you shouldn't keep yourself from doing that just because you're in a relationship. Um, being in a relationship does not just dictate whether you masturbate or not. Um, other people think that, um, people who are not having sex, um, uh, sorry, other people think that, like, masturbation is only for people who are not having sex. And you can be having sex. You can use masturbation as foreplay. It can be pregame to sex. Um, and some people even like um, mutual masturbation, especially during COVID-19, exactly. Um, especially right now when there's not a lot of ways that you can safely be with your partner. Um, some people have taken up phone sex and virtual sex um, where they're like engaging in mutual masturbation and sharing that experience through like video or telephone and that's totally normal. Um, it's kind of our new normal for some of us um and it's also normal that if your partner wants to masturbate it's not a reflection of their love or their attraction for you it's, it's just about you know what makes them feel good and it's important to ex encourage that in your partner um and to let them know that it, like make them feel safe in doing that without um feeling a guilt of maybe that it, maybe it is a reflection of their love or love or attraction and it's not at all it's just about pleasuring and exploring yourself um and there's no such thing as masturbating too much um I personally think that you know you should you should do it and um use it to release you know some tension within your body and you know yeah <laughs> Um, as long as it's not getting in the way of, well, let me not say that. According to Planned Parenthood, if masturbation is getting in the way of school, work, family commitments, or activities you like doing, then it can be a problem. But if your everyday life is not compromised, masturbation, masturbating on the regular is perfectly fine. Um, 
just remember that masturbating is private and it can be a little embarrassing to get caught um so when you if you do get caught laughing it off or making a joke to make it less awkward is um what i would do and what i recommend <laughs> um we all deserve to like feel at ease when exploring our bodies in private and so um yeah it's just what we wanted to share what i wanted to share today um we have more talks about masturbation later tonight on zoom at 8 30 um like i said with dj sean don and I'll be hosting and um, facilitating the discussion around masturbation and self-exploration. But if there's anything that anybody wants to add now or say now in the comments, feel free to do so. And I will give space for that to happen. <clears throat> um, it was important for me to have this conversation just because, like I said at the beginning, I think during these times... Um, one with the whole pandemic outside and with everything else that's going on in the world, it can be really hard to find ways to take care of yourself. Um, and this is one way, this is one way to release tension in your body, to take some time to, you know, get to know yourself, to spend time with yourself, to like really take care and prioritize, um, your pleasure. So if you're interested in having more conversation about this tonight, come to our bag series party on Zoom. All you have to do is sign up on the link that I posted in the comments and um, show up at 8.30. Um, and we'll be there till 10. So if you can't make it exactly at 8.30, just slide in whenever you can. Boom, boom. Get it? Slide in. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bye guys. I hope you all have a great night. I hope to see some of you at our bag series event. Bye.